the new Whirlpool W collection with Sixth Sense technology that fully guides you to achieve perfect results. Whirlpool, sensing the difference. And welcome back. We have a dessert today that's uh, much easier to make than it sounds. So it's bound to impress anyone you have over for dinner when we are allowed guests. And the man to make it is Martin O'Donnell from the 12 Hotel uh, with us this morning. Well, to show us how to make it. Martin, <laughs> it's so good to see you. Welcome back. It's been too long. How's things? Thank you so much. It's been great. Thank you. Um, it's so good to be back. Finally get some normality going again. Um, and as I was saying, we've brought some of the summer with us. We brought some summer ingredients. We've got a real easy dessert. It's it does look impressive, I must say, but it's so easy and that's why we've kind of brought it along to show you. So what we have is fresh Irish Wexford strawberries, Galway strawberries, wherever, with a white chocolate cremeau, which is like a custard, and a brandy snap basket. Okay. So first of all, we're going to start off with the basket, we're going to make the cremeau, and then we can show how to plate it. So the brandy snap basket, really lovely one. It's what all the ice creams around the country are served in in most restaurants and pubs. Um, and this one we've actually changed to gluten-free. So we've made gluten-free flour. We've used gluten-free flour with it. So it's a very simple recipe. I've, I've golden syrup in here, so it's a bit easier to get it out of the pot. Some brown sugar going in. And also we have some butter. So it's equal quantities of butter, sugar, and golden syrup. So in that one, I have 100, 100, and 100. 100, 100, 100, 100 cool. And we'll yeah. have all the uh, measurements up on the website as well. Um, and you're on what kind of a heat there, high or low? Yeah, it's kind of, with the golden syrup, it's kind of on a medium to low because you don't want to start off and burn the golden syrup straight off the bat okay. so we are going to slightly turn up and we just want that to melt down so once it starts to melt down we're just going to turn up a little bit make it a little bit faster um, but as i said it's such an easy one and the great thing about it is number one the mix will hold in the fridge for a couple of days after it's done so you can make five or six today you can keep the mix in the fridge or you could actually make 10 or 12 and keep them in an airtight tight container and they'll stay for a couple of days nice and crisp as well. If you can resist eating them all if at can, once. Of course. But lovely if you have people over to the house to have a little sweet treat. Mm -hmm. And again, these can be done if you're having a few people or if, if you're having a family or even whatever you want to prepare. You can even do all of this in advance. So you can make your cremeau the day before. You can make your basket mix even three days before. You can make your baskets the day before. So it's quite easy just to throw together. And that's why we've brought this one along. It's very easy. So just with all the ingredients, we have the golden uh, syrup, some golden brown sugar, and the butter, and it's just melting in there lovely. We have two teaspoons of ginger powder, so just lovely, normal ginger powder. Gives that lovely gingerness coming through. It's like a ginger nut biscuit that's mm. coming really fragrant, really lovely, and it works really well with the strawberries as well. So this one, quite easy, and in with our flour. So literally, bang in three ingredients, or four actually. So it's gluten-free flour, mix that around, and is that the same measurement as the previous three ingredients? Yes, yeah. so it's in Another equal hundred. quantities of everything. So as you can see, coming together nice and easy. And then in, that one actually goes into the fridge. So it's mixed, done, very simple. Mm. That's that one ready. And I'm just going to skip to the creme first. So we just have white chocolate in the bowl and we're melting some cream into it. We'll mix that together and we'll come back to that in a second. Okay. So just back to the brandy snap. So you put it into a little container, pop it into the fridge, and it goes slightly hard. So this is how it comes out. So this been is in how it comes out overnight, overnight. Overnight. Even even an hour will set it up. So you take a nice simple baking tray with a little bit baking uh, parchment paper, or we have the little rubber ones, and you make a little ball. Great for the kids. Get them involved. Get them to and make. This is the ball. their job, right? It's their job. Do you know, it's so quick. It's so easy. Roll around in your hand. Pop it onto the tray. So we have some in the oven already. But that's it. These are just so simple. Little cookies, little biscuits. Yeah, and really that's how small you want them to be to make something that will turn out to be a good bit bigger. Yeah, quite simply. So the idea of these is this, we have to make them uh, small or we have to space them out on the tray because they will spread out quite a lot. So basically it's going to take over the whole tray there and we're still only going to have three cookies. So if you are doing them, you can maybe make two or three trays at the same time. Gotcha. Um, so we keep them well spread out because they will kind of spread out and then we'll pop them into the oven. We have some in, there'll be another couple of seconds. And we're just going to skip over to the cremeux. So another real simple one. So cremeux, little French word for custard. All we have in here is our white chocolate and some cream. Okay, so it really is simpler than it sounds and that doesn't take away from anything as to how beautiful it is. 
Exactly. And it sounds very posh and fancy. It does, but that's the idea of, for me, cooking, especially with the kids, you can really get them involved in this. They can make the cookies, they can cut the strawberries with a little blunt knife or a little kid's knife. Mm. They can get the chocolate, they can be eating the buttons. That's the fun part <laughs> of kids, isn't it? <laughs> and at the moment, I suppose we're all always looking for something to involve the kids with. So it's mm. a really, really simple recipe. And again, can all be done in advance. So all we have in this bowl is some lovely, good quality white chocolate and some cream. Again, we said the recipes. And I have some yogurt. Now, the type of yogurt, not really important, except it's a little bit stiff, this particular one. So it's not one that will just drip out of, the, out of the, the container. It is quite set, yeah? So you can pick any yoghurt you want. It's just so it's not too runny. OK. So it's but a little you, bit you stiff. You wouldn't want one with, with the flavour, would you? No, no, no. So it is natural yoghurt. This one actually tends to be low-fat. So, um, again, this... Brand, yeah. Bonus territory, <laughs> if we <laughs> need it. <laughs> a little bit important in these times. And basically, all we're doing is mixing it. Um, so that's our creme mousse, so white chocolate, cream and yoghurt, so really simple. And then what we do is we pop that into the fridge, maybe an hour or so, and it'll set. It'll firm to the, like that custard consistency. See, really, really beautiful. OK. So, of course, we have one and this is the slightly ball. ready. So you can see it's nearly like the texture of Nutella. It's soft, it's set, but it's not hard. Really, You'd really. You'd to just eat that now, wouldn't you? Trust me, it is one of the nicest things. In the middle of a croissant, that'd be warm. Ooh. Oh, really delicious. Yeah, you've been keeping a very close eye have, on that. I How have, because uh, live TV, that? we can't go wrong here. So, very simple. Just going to pop that one there. So, now, we're going to actually leave these. We'll just keep these moved out of a second. And I'm going to take this off the tray. And I'm going to put it onto a cold table. Mm. It's going to help it um, cool off that little bit quicker. So, okay, this is so right now they're flat as a pancake. Are they going to... These have actually come out really good. OK, I have much better than the ones uh, the last few days. But what I have is a little mould. Now, it's fancy, it's a ramekin. It can be an egg cup, you know. We could use actually the little, this one from the cinnamon. Whatever you want, because all you want to do is pick it up. So this one is still a little bit warm and you just lay it over. And that's going to give you... To, now, ordinarily, you'd leave that a I'd little longer. i leave it just another little second. Yeah, so it, it actually cools down. And then what you get is these lovely shapes of a basket. So as I said, even in the next couple of seconds, we'll try it again. It'll be perfect. Now, the shapes don't actually even matter. It can be any shape you want. It's so easy. So, to put it all together, then, this is the... Here's so, the magic. Here's the magic. It's their little restaurant bit. So we put a little bit of our little custard on the bottom first. We take our basket and we sit it there. Now, we're only doing that so it doesn't move. So it's a trick in the restaurant that it doesn't go flying around the plate and it stays nice and safe. <laughs> we don't lose it going out the door of the restaurant before we get to the guest. Scooping it off the carpet. <laughs> yeah. OK, so you have your yeah. little foundation, set it in. So we have our little foundation then. We'll just chop up our strawberries again. Lovely Wexford strawberries that are beautiful in season. They're going to be everywhere um, at the moment in the next week or two. So we're just chopping our strawberries, very simple. Okay, three or four. Three or four. We've got some gorgeous edible flowers. So Irish edible flowers. Love using flowers. Get some lovely colour. This one, wild gorse, it's everywhere. I don't know if you can see it there. It's all over the golf clubs. It's everywhere around at the moment. It's a wild flower that's grown. And you just, again, pick the little flowers off it. Yeah, it's a scourge to some people. Yeah, I know that. But, but it's got but that it's lovely edible. aroma. It's edible. Now, you don't want a full bush of it, but you just want a few mm. little leaves like that. We have some bee pollen. So bee pollen. Very common at the moment. It's great healthy. It's got great vitamins. And it comes from the legs of the bees as they fly into the hive. They leave these little nuggets in a little, in a little sack. So the beekeepers, they actually dehydrate them. And they're so delicious because it gives you the flavours of all the fauna that the bees have been eating. Um, wow. Martin, it's, it's so pretty. Uh, it's... I don't want to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? The presentation, it's all going to just break up now, so... And you can, well, you can see with this little basket, it's a lot more pliable. You just place it over the, the little mould. We'll get rid of the not-so-good one. And there you go. Or, if you want to leave it flat, it's such a real... Oh, man. ...simple, simple dessert. And it's beautiful. It's lovely. It's, those strawberries are unbelievable. So sweet. But this, sorry, holding it with my hand, <laughs> that's the piece of resistance of that, isn't it? It's such a lovely little Because crisp. to be able to make something like that, that's so simple, it just looks so professional as well. Thank you. I think, I think it's such a lovely, easy dessert to get prepared in advance. Martin, so you're much. raising the bar as ever. You Thank can come you. back again. <laughs> Great <laughs> Thank to you see so you. Much. Thanks and for you being too. with us, Thanks Martin. so much, Aidan. And, of course, full recipe details are up on our website. Or, as ever, you can call into Martin in the 12 Hotel to try everything for yourself. Now, we will take a quick break and we'll be back very soon.
The new Whirlpool W collection with Sixth Sense technology that fully guides you to achieve perfect results. Whirlpool, sensing the difference.